Hi, I'm at the uh, Goodwill outlet today. It is packed. It opened like 15 minutes ago. I've never seen the parking lot so packed before. Um, it's crazy. I had to park like way far away. I'm, I'm hoping nothing here says I can't park here. I think it's like overflow parking. At least I hope this one is. It doesn't look like it belongs to any other business. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. So such a nice day. But um, so yeah, I'm actually here because I wanted to find some kind of some fabric and material uh, for projects. I prefer coming here because you can get things really, really cheap. Like they weigh your cart and everything. So you get a lot more for less. So I'm kind of hoping I'll find some good things here today. So we'll see. If I don't find anything, then this video won't get posted. But if I do, hey. All right. Wow. I am, uh, whew, I'm tired. <laughs> it was a long morning and sorry, like, hardly, like no makeup on. Glasses are covering most of that. But anyway, I, uh, yeah, it was crazy. I went through there. I have never seen it so busy. I've never had a park in this section. In fact, I didn't realize this parking lot existed until today because I've never needed it before. So I went in there and every single cart was gone. Like I've never seen it so crammed, packed full of people. I'm thinking because, you know, with the prices of everything going up, I'm guessing, this is just my opinion or my thought on it, like I think a lot of people are trying to go more, like, cheaper and cheaper for things, you know. Um, I found a lot of things that I can make a lot of handmade things with, like bits and pieces of things. I actually took a chain off a purse because it's kind of grunged up anyway. It was like a really, really cheap purse with a faux leather on it that was like flaking off. Like it was like this stuff does get thrown away when they're all done with it. So I took the chain off the three. I'll use that bit. I'm not because everything's by weight. I don't want to pay for the weight of the purse if I'm not going to use it. I rarely do that. I don't like to take things apart. Um, in normal Goodwills, I wouldn't. In the outlet, most of this crap is falling apart. It's like picture like the leftovers of a yard sale like that's what you're talking about so again I don't make a habit of that so judge me as you will but I just wanted to change <laughs> so I actually got a good amount of stuff um I finally did get a cart there was one there was a worker there who came over to me he's like do you need a cart I'm like yeah but I'm fine I figured well I'll just it'll keep me from buying too much I can just uh, buy what I can carry I'm thinking that part of my head and um so I'm just making sure I'm here like the city area, so I don't, I just want to make sure I'm being safe and careful. Um, but actually there was an older gentleman behind me, apparently he was using two carts. I don't think he was purposely using two carts, I think one cart was like full of clothes and he was just kind of digging through them and he had his own cart. So the worker there was like, oh yeah, like you he, he, you can't have these two carts to go with that, this, that's, that's not allowed. So it was really nice, he got me the, the other cart. Again, I don't think the older gentleman was purposely using two carts. I just think one cart's lit up with clothes and, and everything. So, anyway. So, just trying to be aware of my surroundings. So, I, I really could be doing this at home. I really should get going. I have to hit the grocery store, and I'm starving. I need to get lunch. It's only 10.30, but I'm so hungry. So, I'm going to stop at the grocery store, get a couple things, go home and have lunch. And then I'll show you everything that I got. I'll tell you what I paid for it. I actually have a receipt this time. I didn't throw it away, because I've done that before by accident. <laughs> So anyway, I will show you all later what I got, and um, so yeah, but it was fun. There was actually one lady there, and she and I got talking, and um, there was some other lady when I was leaving. She's like, are you taking your card out? I'm like, no. I said, I, I, was, I was smart. I actually bought a big bag, not on purpose, but I bought a big bag because I like the material, and I want to use the material on it. So I was like shoving everything in the bag so I could carry it out. I'm like, no, no, you can take it. And she's like, yeah, there's no carts here. I'm like, yeah, I know. That's how it was when I got here. So it's kind of like most people were like in a good mood, like considering how crowded it was, like, like everyone is either like minding their own business or being really polite and chatty. Like it was kind of nice. So, all right, I'm going to end this here. I'm just getting, I'm just being mindful of my surroundings. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop this here and then the next time you see me, I'll just show you my haul and we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Time to go over the stash. Um, I'm just going to dive right in and, uh, go from there. Sorry for my hair a little crazy today. So this is one item I got. I just thought it was so pretty. I don't think it's anything like of high value. It's not like a nice tile or anything. I think it's just some kind of composite. And I think this is, and this, I think this is plastic or like a cheap wood, but I wanted to get it because I wanted to fill in the cracks with something and then maybe paint the frame. So I might make that into another video down the road. I'm not sure, but I just love the way she looked. Like it reminded me of, um, 
you know those cameos, those old fashioned pins? That's what it kind of reminded me of. So that's one item that I got. Um, I also got this casserole cradle trivet thing, if whatever you want to call it. it. Has a price tag from another Goodwill store, but this is not the price that I paid. It says six ninety nine. The reason I got this, and actually I've been looking for one for a while, is because in an old vintage magazine, I saw that someone had taken one of these and they put books in it. They used it to hold their, their books on a shelf and it looked really, really cool. And I'm thinking, I think I might actually put this in my kitchen, like up on my shelves, because we have open shelves. And I have, I actually have vintage bookends holding a few of my cookbooks together. But I actually, I actually think this will look really, really cool up there. And considering it's kind of for baking anyway, it's for like a casserole dish, so I thought it'd be perfect for the kitchen. So and it's really sturdy. It's like I've seen these before, and I've seen like really cheapy ones. It would be cool if this was like silver or like silver plated. But I'm not seeing any. No, no, I, it's not. But that's okay. It's still really pretty. Okay. And I have no idea how many items that I got today. I have not a clue. Um, when I am done with everything, I, I do have my receipt, so I will let you know how much I spent, and then I kind of want to count everything, because I kind of like to divide the the amount of things I got against like the price, just to kind of be like, okay, I got 10 items for $10, each thing was a dollar, that kind of an idea. So I really would like to kind of figure out how much I spent for each item, because they weigh like the fabric, clothing, whatever, in the cart, and they weigh everything else on a scale on the counter. So we'll have to see. Okay. So, and then I got this really cool jacket. It's not my style. I honestly got it more for the fabric because I don't know if you can see it's my lighting. The sun's gone down. I was counting on the sun to be my, my lighting today. And I got this video started kind of late, but I really kind of want to get, get it going because I'm excited to show you everything. But I honestly got this because I want the fabric for um, just projects for different things. Like I like to cut up old pieces of clothing and use, use them for different things, like junk journaling. I'll do that sometimes. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. But I got it because I lost all the material. But now that I have it, like it's a really, once I wash it, I might put it on, see how it looks on. If I like the look, I might just keep it. It'd be kind of fun. And what is, it, what, is, what is that style? Is academia or dark academia or something? Like that's totally that vibe. Um, not at all my style, but then again, I've never dressed in those kind of colors and styles, so maybe it's a style that I like. I actually like styling myself in different ways. Like, I'm not, like, one set style. Like, I feel like some people are, like, straight up prep or, um, emo or goth or, um, shabby chic or whatever it may be. And I just kind of wear whatever I feel like, 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 whatever my, what my mood is. Like, it my mood kind of depends on what I wear that day. So I have kind of a variety of stuff. But um, this item I got, it's huge. I think it's just like a bed cover. It's really thin, but it actually smells really nice. Whoever donated this must have like recently washed it because it's really, really nice. But I wanted some material for some backing for some junk journals. And um, this would make some really nice pillows actually. Like I I don't have a sewing machine, but sometimes I'll make homemade pillows and there's so much material here. Like it's I have no idea how big it is. It's huge. There's so much of it. Like, I don't know if you can see. I think it's like a queen size or a king size. And that's like a ton of fabric. Like, if you go to any fabric store and you buy how many yards of fabric, how much money are you going to spend on that? Versus go to a Goodwill outlet and you buy like old blankets, sheets, whatever, and you can use that for whatever you want, need it for. Anyway, that, that's my reasoning and that's kind of why, why I like shopping there. Alrighty, what else? Oh, and these two things, sorry. I have some things in a bag and some things on the floor, so I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. And I got this really cool rolling pin. I like it because the handles don't spin around. I have a rolling pin, but the handles spin, so sometimes it doesn't roll as smoothly as I would like. And I wanted one I could just kind of like roll with my hand. And with the holidays around the corner, like making cut out cookies and pies, like I know I'll use this. Oh, I'm sitting on my knees again. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Down in the corner, where I belong, because I don't matter, it's just the stuff. You're here for the stuff. Okay. This really cool cutting board. Look how amazing this is. Look how thick that is. It's like a solid inch, inch and a half. I think most of the cutting boards I've gotten in the past have been from like Goodwill and stuff. You can see that it's, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that it's all in there. 
It's got some cuts and stuff on it, but that's easy enough to fix. You just sand it off and oil it and you're good to go. But that thing is heavy, like that's decent. I love the wood, it's so pretty. And actually what you could do too, you can turn these into little end tables. This is a really nice like butcher block. So if you have a tiny little little kitchen or something, if you wanted to get like, like one of those big black pipes to put in the middle and then make like, like four little, I don't know how you would do it, but you can make a little table out of this if you wanted to. Um, it's really cool. I really like that. Okay. Moving on, I got one of these little wooden leaf tray things. This is vintage. Those little trays. Charcuterie. I have actually a big one like this that I've used for charcuterie, like for dinner sometimes. It's just kind of nice to have a bunch of random stuff you just kind of pick from. And I thought, oh, this would be perfect for olives, pickles, like that kind of thing. And then use my bigger board for like the meats, cheeses, and fruits. Or maybe the fruits are for free. Anyway. So, and again, this price, I know it's backwards because of my camera, but it says $4.99. That's not at all what I spent. I have no idea what this was. Everything's laid out. Oh, and there's a, there is a little sign that says wood, Japan, Mon monkey pod? Wait, no. Monkey pod. I think this is monkey pod. <laughs> I never knew. I didn't see that before. That's funny. And I got these shorts, Tommy Hilfiger. Cause you know what? I can always use new shorts and I don't know, I don't know if these will fit me. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just donate them back or give them to somebody. But <clears throat> I thought they were cute. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I was distracted by this little, looks like a little like leather thing. I was just trying to read it. Nothing, nothing important. All right. So, all right, moving on. Oh my gosh. I have so much stuff. I should have told you to get yourself some tea or coffee and or wine, whatever works for you. Sit back and just see what's here. But alrighty, next item I got is this bag, and I'm not sure why I got this. All right, I gotta get up because I can't see what I'm doing. Again, it's all backwards, but I like the pictures on it. And it's a nice cloth bag, so I don't know if I'll use it for like shopping because Goodwills now don't give you bags anymore. You have to buy them. So this could be good for Goodwill, it could be good for going to Aldi's, the back has nothing on it. And it says, what does it say? New Orleans Fresh, what's on the bottom? French Market. We pack to travel. Well, there's actually numbers, like phone numbers on here. Okay. Don't go calling them now. Um, good and spicy Louisiana Cajun style ready to eat boiled crawfish. That's really cool. You know what? This might make a really cool pillow. I might see us. See, now I want to cut that up and make it into a pillow. How cute would that be? That's a nice cloth bag. I just saw the picture. I thought it was fun. And I'm like, oh, I can use this bag and stuff. But okay, I like that. I like it even more now. So good thing I got it. All right, what's next? What, what next? Okay, and I have to say, when I'm picking through these bins, like, um, I have to explain, if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet, they're basically d just big blue plastic bins, like the size of a bed, and you have to dig through, and it's a bunch of junk. Sometimes you can find some really, really good stuff. And sometimes they're, I should say sometimes, every single time I've been there, I've bought the most random stuff, and uh, no rhyme or reason. I'm trying to be mindful when I buy things now. Can I use this anytime soon? Do I have a place for it? Do I have a purpose for it right now? Because in times past, I have bought items and just because they were cool, I'm like, I'll figure it out later, I'll figure it out later. And I get stuck with stuff and I can't sell anything sometimes. Well, sometimes I can't, but especially right now, like nothing's selling locally, at least not for me. And I'm not doing the eBay thing anymore. So I don't need stuff to sell. If I don't have a use for it, leave it there for somebody else. Like that's what I tell myself. But anyway, today was still random stuff and... <laughs> I didn't really follow my own advice today about this, only because it's burwood. Am I right with that? Yeah, it's vintage burwood. Ugh, I'm losing my hair. There it is. It's these plastic wall art things. I just got it because it was burwood, and I kind of regret getting this now because I'm not gonna keep this. But if you're familiar with burwood, ugh, my hair. I'm eating it. If you're familiar with burwood, they have. Go on eBay if you're not sure what they are, but they have some really cool like mid-century wall art. I, I, I say mid-century, but it could be 60s and 70s, so I don't think it's all 
the century. But sixties and seventies wall art is like this plastic mold stuff, and some are really cool. Like they'll have um, like diamond shaped ones. They'll have like a set of four, or they'll have like mushrooms. Sometimes they do clocks. I think they have clocks. Anyway, it's really really cool. Years ago, I bought one that was had um, mushrooms on it. It was so cool. I think I got it for like three or four dollars at Goodwill. And at the time, I had a vintage booth or antique booth, excuse me. So I put it in my booth to sell it. But I could kick myself now because I wish I would have kept it. Like anyway, so I might just try and sell this locally or give it away. I just got it because it was burwood, and it's hard to find the the plastic burwood stuff. But I have a friend who has a couple little girls, and she actually might like this because she kind of likes vintage items. So I might check and see if she wants it. If she wants it, it's hers. But it's kind of cute. Alright, uh, I have a ton of stuff on the floor. I'm just quick making sure that I didn't miss anything, and then I'll start digging through the bag, which I've kind of already started doing, but... Okay, I'm going to pick this up. I got some things in it, but I'll show you this. Uh, again, backwards, sorry. Blackbird brand tea. I don't think it really had tea. I think this is one of those things that you get at, like, um, like hometown or um, even Walmart. I don't know. It's just, like, house decor. But the reason I got this is because I've been doing a lot of my crafting here in the bedroom, and... I'm cutting out papers and I'm, I'm cutting thread after I sew something. I've got extra thread. I get this little pile of trash. I'm sick and tired of like picking it up off the floor. I'm like, I need a tiny little trash can <laughs> where I can put everything. So I'm going to use this as my tiny little trash can. I actually had grabbed a cute little rusty bucket. But when I saw this, I thought it was cuter. So I got this. But, and I actually got a lot of little things that I put inside of it. So let me go through the stuff in it. And then I have more stuff in the bag. Like, I'm not even close to done. So... If you want to pause this, seriously, go get some tea or coffee because it's going to be a hot minute. And got this little brass candle holder with the stars in it. I've seen this before and I just figured since it's going to be really cheap, I'll grab it. And it's around Christmas time and I love lighting candles around this time anyway. So you got the gold going on and the stars. Can you see that okay? It's all scratched up. It's seen better days, but I thought that was cute. And... Like I said in the one video, I took that chain off that purse. I know it's kind of crappy of me to do, so I probably won't do that again. I, I'm kind of feeling convicted about that. But this chain is a really, it's just cheap metal. I shouldn't say it's a nice chain. It's not like it's actual silver. But it's, I don't know. I don't know how long you would say that is. Maybe three feet of chain. But again, I'm like, I'm not kidding. The purse it was attached to was like falling apart. And I don't think they keep those things. And the chain would have just ended up in the landfill. And... I can use this for something. So I thought that was cool. I need to get a little bit closer so you can see it. Maybe. There you go. Sorry about my nails. I know my nails are so overdue to be painted. So. So it goes. And then I got, <laughs> I got this because it was nostalgic. I remember growing up with these. I don't know if it's actual Tupperware or Rubbermaid. It's Rubbermaid. Okay. I just love these because these are so perfect if you have leftover sauce or... A little bit of stew and you don't want to throw it away or a couple of meatballs I don't know whatever you want to put in it heck I could actually use this Ooh, I could use this for some of my crafting if I have like extra little bits and pieces of stuff but I just I more got it for nostalgia because that's, I like the sound satisfying anyway sorry it's the little things it's the little things I uh, got this little teeny tiny gift bag little precious moments you can see that okay it's not darling <clears throat> Does it have the, oh, it does have the years. It's 1993. So that's, that's pretty old. Again, this would be a really cute thing to put in a junk journal or if I have like a teeny tiny gift I want to give somebody. Like a nice little piece of jewelry. I just, I'm like, I'll use this. It's cute. Look at the sugar soft. The little tiny bag. I love it. Growing up, I actually had a little Precious Moments Bible. I think I got it from my grandparents or something. And it was cute because like, I don't know how many pictures, but every once in a while, one of the pages in the Bible had, like, a big picture, just, like, a picture of the Precious Moments, like, children, and I love going through and looking at the pictures. They're the cutest pictures. This is very nostalgic for me. You know, yeah, Hallmark cards, Precious Moments, yeah. So sweet. Oh, it's something I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't even look closely. It's actually Christmas -y. It's got a wreath on it. First time I noticed it. Okay. And then I grabbed this little vintage coin. I guess you call it a coin purse. It's not real big. Is there a, oh, that is a pocket. So there's a pocket in here. And then you got the little thing here. Again, it's seen better days. Let me chase all the way. Focus. 
You don't see these very often. This reminds me of something my grandmother would have had. I like that. Isn't that pretty? It does have, it looks like it's some ink on it. Like it was probably in somebody's purse. But it's got that nice vinyl. I just, I don't know, something about it. And it feels really nice in my hand. Like it's just, it's thick and smooth and I just, it's nice. And, oh, I got this. I'm not kidding. Random bits and pieces. Vera Bradley clip claw thing. There is. Is that all right? <clears throat> I kind of like the pattern on it. It kind of looks like Alice in Wonderland, like it's got spades on it. <clears throat> but I thought it'd be really cool because for um, my junk journals, like a lot of times I've seen people when they make junk journals, they'll wrap a piece of like ribbon around it just to kind of have closure. And I thought, how cool would it be if I use this? Because you can put something in here. Let me show you. Something inside that. And then I might take this part off and you have this nice hook. <clears throat> or I can see if the hook for something else, take the hook off. And then use this. Heck, I don't even, I could take both these things off and just have this. I have a piece of material. It will wrap all the way around the book. And you can tie it onto this. And so you have this nice, cool little, like, buckle bit in the front. So I thought that would be really fun. And then I got these also for junk journaling or for whatever. But it's actually, it's actually, um, for your shower, I think. I'll take one. You don't need to see the whole bag. But it's really fun because you can take this off somehow. I just thought that'd be, you could do so much with that. And there's a ton of them. Again, if you go to a craft shop, if you bought something, if this was like a craft item and you went to a craft shop, there's probably 10 in here. And you're probably spending like, I don't know, five, ten dollars I have no idea. Got that. All right, that's everything in the little bucket. Get it all put away. Must be organized. All right, so I got that. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pause this later and count everything that I got. <laughs> and I got some like paper stuff like this. I saw these and immediately, it immediately reminded me, oh, geez, leaning on scissors, don't do that, of my childhood. Like these totally, and in fact, I think there's a date on them. 98, yep, 1998. Can you see that? It was just like lying in the bin. It was just all these star stickers. I just thought that was really cool. It says, I did it. I know it's backwards. It looks like it says, Thai Bibai. <laughs> it's not. It says, I did it. But I love the stickers. I just, I'm a sucker for stickers. I love stickers. I still go through high, or not Happy Lobby, sorry. I still go through five below. And I buy, like, little sticker books. I have, like, a st few uh, sticker books of all the kawaii characters, like um, uh, My Melody and Hello Kitty. I just love them. And I will use them, like, not very often. But a lot of times when I send people, like, letters and stuff, which... Again, isn't very often. I'll still put stickers on it like I'm 12. But it just makes it so much more fun. Like when I get something in the mail, seeing stickers and stuff just like instantly makes me happy and smile. But anyway, so that's that. And then let me show you all these. These are kind of like paper products. I think I think these are I think um placemats. I'm not sure. Oops, upside down. At first I was gonna get one or two and then I found a stash of them and then I'm like, you know what, what the heck? I'll get all of them because they're gonna be really cheap. But they feel laminated. They have these pretty resin like this. Some of this is actual stain. Like these splotches are actual stains, but I think they'll wash out. Um, just because of how laminated it is, I think it'll be fine. But if not, I can like um, just cut up the bits and pieces that I plan on using. Like you can see, like there's a ring here. Some of the coffee on. Isn't that pretty? And it's, I love the artwork. It looks like watercolors, I guess. I think some of them, a lot of them are the same, but these first few are different. And it's, it's nice, thick, kind of like, um, cardstock. I'm just, whatever. I just thought they were so pretty. It has a Christmas theme on it. I'm going to get my hands around. I thought that was really nice. So I'll probably cut them up for whatever. Look at this one. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I might just like hang on the wall for decoration for Christmas time. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Let's let me get back a little bit. Sorry. Mad one. Oh, I didn't see this one. There was like a, literally a whole pile, so I just grabbed the whole stash. Oh, that's so pretty. Got a double one. I think I already have this one. Pretty. Ooh, Oh, that's pretty. I like that. 
got like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Another one. So, and you can see this one's already kind of ripped. That's okay because I'll probably cut them up anyway. That's quite quite the stretch. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's a whole dozen there. So not too shabby. All right, all right. We're getting down to the bottom here. Again, it got another little bag. I just like the little tree because I don't know if you can see it. It's got little teeny tiny sparkles. Sparkle, darn you. Anyway, but again, either I'll, I'll cut up the um, the bag and get the tree out or I'll just use a little teeny tiny bag. I'm just, I'm working for the picture, but it was, actually I can't use it because someone put their name on it. It says to Mia from Sherry, I think. So, that. And then, oh, this is cute. I forgot about this. It's a little tiny plaque. I think Hallmark made these. I actually have one similar in our, our bathroom. But look how cute. Oh, I love it. It's in there. It's the art's name. So, look how sad little darling. I love the little old pictures with the girls in bonnets, and you can't see their little faces. All right, a few more things. A few more things. Um, oh, this is random. I got a card. I didn't open this. Oh, it never was filled out. Warmly thinking of you and wishing you a very Merry Christmas. So nothing in the card, but I love the picture. And it says Thomas Kincaid in the back. Remember when he was popular? Was that like back in the 90s or early 2000s? I'm sure he's still popular, but I remember my husband and I stopping in a store once. And they had all his, a bunch of prints. And I think they actually had a couple actual paintings, but they're like thousands and thousands of dollars. They're pretty. That'd be really nice framed, actually. Oh, that's so welcome. Don't you want to go in there? Like, you know if you walk in this house, you can smell really good food. Like, I just, I just know it. Anyway. Um, oh, another paper ephemera stuff I got. I think this is wrapping paper. Yeah, it's like wrapping paper. Not a whole lot of it there, but I can't look how pretty that is. So that'd be great for cutting up, or I might just end up using it as wrapping paper and wrap up a present. Uh, a few more items. Almost there. And then I got this belt. I, you know, I don't even know if it's real leather. I hope it is. Mm, made in China, so probably not. Not that China doesn't make leather items, but a lot of the times it isn't usually. And it'll usually tell you if something's leather. This does not say it's leather. The reason I got this belt is I have a project in mind and I needed a big belt for it. Actually, I hope it's still out there. We have, I can just tell you what it is. Um, Cause I probably won't end up making it, but if I do, I'll make a video and I'll show you later. But we recently got a wood pellet stove because with oil prices and stuff and gas prices going up, my husband wanted to get another source of heat in our house that was a little bit more um, cost effective, not so pricey. So we got this wood pellet stove and with it came, it was like on a like wooden pallet thing. Not a normal wooden pallet that you're used to seeing, but it was literally chunks of wood. It was like eight pieces like smacked out together and it had a big chunk near the bottom holding it. And as I instantly saw it as a shelf. Like I wanted to put it upright with the wood thing on the bottom. I wanted to paint it and I thought it would be really cool to like put like a leather belt around it. it looks like it's holding it together. And um, I have a couple old wood drawers that I put on like randomly as shelves. Like in my head I can see it looking really cool. So that's kind of why I got the belt. May or may not use it for that. I may not even ever do that. But I saw the belt and I'm like I'll snag it while I'm seeing it. And if down the road again I don't need it I'll just donate it back. So no biggie. And I got this. This is really cute. I was finding all this cute vintage. Not all. Two things. The little wallet and this little purse. But again, as you can see here. Let's see if I can open. This little purse. Oh, you know what I remember? Oh, wait. No, it wasn't this one. There was another purse that I had looked at today. And it had, like, these little earrings inside. But one of them was broken. As I almost got for the earrings. But this sheer plastic vinyl whatever stuff on top of these dried flower not dried there's like fabric flowers actually it's a good thing they're not dried flowers because they probably would be like falling apart but it's in really good condition it's a cute little clutch i don't use clutches very often in fact i don't think my phone would even fit in here let me see i'm using my phone right now oh, it's long enough it might fit you could do this you're like your phone some cash and that's about it maybe a lipstick but Actually, I want to see if that little wallet will fit in here. Where is it? Where did you go? Oh. 
do this. Ready for a night on the town. All right. Actually, you know, I'll leave it in there. As long as I don't forget it when I count everything. Right. Two more items. Two more items. I've got this little... I don't know if you can see it at all. There's this little flower painted on it. Oh, here we go. And then this little drawer. Again, I was thinking of using this for the project I was just telling you about. Um, I don't know how well it would work or what I'd, where I'd put it. But I like the little drawer. I just thought that was really fun. This is one of those things where you could stick on a wall, like screw it in the back, and then put things in it and on top of it, and have it someplace where you can see the side. You can see the little decorative flower, and then hang stuff like this if you wanted to. Kind of make your own shadow box, but use teeny tiny little drawers and put them all together. So, yeah. It looks kind of like a velvet. Actually, you probably can't see it. Can you see it at all? It's like velvety in here. Right, and the last item, I actually got this black bag. Again, just for the material, but it worked out today because I was carrying everything out to my car. But, um, just one of those bags you use for going to the grocery store or whatever, reusable bags. But I like the pattern on it, and it's, I think it'll work for gluing, like, I thought for the edge, like a binding on the back of a book, when you make a junk journal, or, um, for whatever, you could cut it up and make a big, like, black heart, because then you'd have the texture, and you'd have the pattern on it. So I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, that was everything. I actually want to quit pause this. I'm going to count everything. Actually, I'll stop it. I'll count everything. And I got to do the math. And then I'll tell you how much I spent for all of it. All right, so one sec. Okay. So I counted everything. I have 37 items. How much do you think I spent for everything? Remember, there's a nice wood cutting board. There was some nice clothing, like a nice pair of shorts and the jacket. Granted, some things were teeny tiny things. Now, granted, when I counted everything, I have to tell you, you know, this placement, there's 12. I counted each of these as one item. I didn't count all 12 as one item. So when I say 37, 12 of that 37 is this, are those placements. So keep that in mind. But there was the nice rolling pin. Um, what else? All the other stuff. You just saw it. I'm not going to go over it thing again. For 37 items, how much do you think I spent? If you're watching, put in the comments what you think before I say it, because I haven't had any people comment yet, so it might be kind of a fun thing to do. All right, here we go. For 37 items, I spent $32.67. Doing the math, 88 cents per item. Yes. Here, I'll throw it to you. Cover up any sensitive material information. Actually, I'm not going to show you anyway because it's going to be backwards. But anyway, I'll just show you this part. Actually, I can't do that either. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not going to show you. But it, it literally is 37. Let me flip it like this. There we go. There we go. I can do that. Again, it's backwards. I know. Wow. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I can't believe I got everything for that cheap. Whew. Seriously, that's the place to go. If you are near a Goodwill outlet, like, absolutely go. Like, you don't know what you'll find. Because sometimes you'll find some amazing stuff. I don't think I've really ever walked out of there without something, you know. Um, case in point, I got the scratch. I don't know if you can see it. I realized as I was driving down the road going home. Ah, I can't show you. It's not showing you. Anyway, I... <laughs> The only bad thing about it is everything's dirty, and as I was driving home, I realized I had a scratch on my arm, and it all of a sudden felt like like it hurt, and it was tingly, and I realized I had scratched it, and something was bothering it. So I, when I went to the grocery store, I quickly went to the bathroom and washed my hands and washed my arm. Again, I can't, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, the lighting is horrible, but it's right here. It's like really red. I washed it out, but it's still, it's kind of like when you have a cat and it scratches you, it kind of feels irritated, like that's what it feels like. So, it was not without its injuries and issues, but overall, that's that's amazing. I, I remember one time, uh, I completely loaded up a cart. Like, that's when I was selling on eBay, and I just, whatever I thought would sell, I loaded that cart up. Like, it was, like, a grocery store size cart. Loaded it up. It was, like, to the brim. I spent, like, 60-some dollars 
can believe it. And the more you, the more you get, the, the lower the price gets. So the more pounds of stuff you buy, the lower the price gets. I actually wanted to get a picture or like a video footage of their sign, but they had it, it wasn't there today. They usually had it hanging from the ceiling and they didn't have anything there that said what things cost or how they charge you. Now maybe they moved it someplace where I couldn't see it. Um, because I know with their books, I think like the softbound books are 25 cents. I think hardbounds are 50 cents. I can't remember. Um, but oh my gosh, that is the, the place to go shop. If you just, it's kind of like when you want to go shopping, but you're kind of a tight budget, like you go into the dollar store. This is kind of like the dollar store of thrift stores. It's like the thrift store for the, for the thrift store kind of thing. So anyway, that was everything. I'm not going to keep yakking, but thanks for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. It was fun showing you everything and hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, if you've ever considered going to one, to a Goodwill outlet, I like ours. I've don't, I've never had any complaints. I know there's one in next County over, but I don't think I ever went to that one. So I can't promise they're all going to be the same, but I'm really happy with what I got. So anyway, hopefully I'll fix that little cameo head wall art thing. Maybe I'll show you that later. I'm not making promises, but I really would like to get that looking nice. So maybe I'll do a quick video on, on that, but I don't do quick videos. So it'll probably be another 40 minute. <laughs> video. Jeez. Get your popcorn. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me.